Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today we're unboxing this, the Blue Ant X3i Bluetooth speaker. And I know it's a mouthful, there's a lot of blue there, but folks, not a lot of people have big stereo systems in their homes. Most of the time, I've been seeing these Bluetooth speakers. So let's see if Blue Ant's newest version is any good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox it and then we're gonna do a sound test with the microphone over there like we did with another similar device. So big thanks to Blue Ant for sending me this for a video and of course, like and subscribe. Let's get started by rolling the intro. Let's get started. This is a Bluetooth speaker. It's got 30 watts. On the other side, we've got some features. IP67 waterproof. It has two 57 millimeter drivers and two passive radiators and has some touch controls. It has 15 hours of playtime. It's got a bass boost button. We'll see how that works. It also has a built-in power bank and it has auxiliary playback, which is fantastic for those who still have some classic iPods to use and you can connect up to two speakers to play it in stereo. And it is USB-C, so that's awesome. Okay, we've got a power plug swap for the Australian market, great. Just that one there, they just throw it in, great. Nice and small USB. You probably don't have to use this one, it's just USB-C and honestly, most people will probably end up using their own. We've got a little help guide to get started, which we won't need. The speaker comes in some recyclable material and paper out of all the things. And uh, hey, it's nice and hefty. And honestly, it feels great. So on the top, we have a plus and it's clicky. And this one right here is also clicky. And this one is clicky right here. We've got the on button. Oh, just turned it on. Bluetooth. Oh, okay. And we've got, I'm guessing this be the bass boost button. On the bottom, we've got some rubber stands. They're really thick. So obviously if you put this on the table, you don't want it to go crazy and vibrating everywhere. And on the sides, we've got the speakers, which you can touch. Now that might be concerning because, well, you know, not safe. If you throw this around and it pokes in and rips it, I wish there was a bit of a cage on here or something to protect it. And on the other side, we've got the same, but that means they're pretty bloody big drivers, 57 millimeters. And of course, that's it. On the back, we've got, has that come off to do the, yeah, there you go. You've got a USB for the power bank, which is amazing. And you've got your USB-C charging and your auxiliary port. So you can use this wirelessly near the water and the flap has to be closed and it's got rubber grommets on the side here. So Blue Ant logo here. And I think it's time to connect this to Bluetooth. The Bluetooth pairing process is pretty darn simple. Open up Bluetooth and there it is, Blue Ant X3i. Tap into it. Connected. Yeah, very, very easy. So we can now play some music. All right, folks, we have the microphone right here. We have the Bluetooth speaker facing forward towards it. The actual speakers or the drivers are on the side here. So I want it blowing outwards and not straight into the microphone. So we're gonna hear what it would sound like if you're in this room, and then we might move the microphone a little ways away and we'll start off with a fairly low volume uh, so you can see how loud it can get. Be very wary of your headphones or your speakers right now because I just gave it a test and it sounds absolutely booming. Okay, this is 25% volume and then we'll move it up to 50%, then 75 and we'll try to get to 100. And I feel like the patient last If you can move on the past The things that make you feel bad And you can change in your brain I'm certain I've done it before And that I'm not perfect I'm changing Who I am I'm making A new plan that was very, very loud. And what we're gonna do next, we're gonna bring that a little bit closer again, and we're gonna do 50%, but we're gonna try and see what happens when we press the boost bass button. I'm changing who I am. I'm making a new plan. Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again. Yeah. Hey, you ain't see me activated. You better hope that you never see Base boost. I actually plan them out of value rated. That's 
Standard. I'm changing my life and I won't look back ever again. No fear, see clear, you deserve to be great. I know it feels like things get in your way. All right, that sounded pretty darn good. And you can see actually on the sound breakdown here when the entire thing lowered. So the bass boost does seem to do something. I couldn't really tell with my ears, but the microphone was able to tell that the music has changed. I think it sounded deeper and maybe it just lost a little bit of the top end. Now let's listen to something a little bit different. All right, folks, there you have it, the Blue Ant X3i. And gosh darn it, it sounds great. It has a pretty interesting bass boost button, gives a little bit more oomph, bit of more depth in the lower frequencies. And you know what? I don't think I'll use the bass button. I'm, I'm gonna admit it, I probably won't. On the other hand though, the loudness of this, I didn't hear any distortion and when it was very low, you could still hear the music. So it's got a pretty darn good range and no distortion. Secondly, it just sounds great. I stopped off and listened to some copyrighted music that I can't play on the channel and I really, really liked it. When you sit in front of it, it actually sounds like it's almost stereo and I give it to Blue Ant. That's a pretty darn cool design, but it does come with the downside of having this exposed and potentially damage it if you're moving it around or taking it with you somewhere or if somebody kicks it or a kid sticks something in it. So I wish there was a bit of a shroud, maybe even if it was magnetic, just in case of a knock. And that's really my only feedback otherwise, I'd recommend this. It's a pretty darn good sounding speaker. But as always, there is the price question. Now looking online, this can range from $150 on Amazon, I'll put the links below, to Maya at $300. So please, please, if you're looking at this speaker, take a Google around the internet and see if you can find a lowest price. At $150, I can recommend this straight off the bat. At 200, it's a consideration and in competition with other speakers, but it sounds really, really good to all the other portable Bluetooth speakers I got to test. At $300, I think that is a little bit much, but comparably to like an Apple speaker, which is obviously smart, this sounds fantastic, even though it's not smart. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you to pick a Bluetooth speaker and check out Blue Ant's websites below and the links where you can purchase it. Big thanks to Blue Ant for sending me this for review and make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.